we uh, from our uh, quick passage yesterday. We got our butts handed to us by Mother Nature, and uh, no serious damage, but uh, it was an interesting ride. We uh, stayed up all night, hit some uh, real nice uh, eight, nine foot swells, and uh, some 30 knob winds. So thanks, Mother Nature. Welcome to Sailing Cayenne 2. Join us as we explore the beautiful Chesapeake Bay in our newly refitted Morganout Island Catch and watch as we're preparing the final touches for our 2021 snowbird journey from Baltimore, Maryland to sunny tropical destinations. 29 months of uh, interesting hard work on everybody's part. Everybody, we are off the uh, harbor in Beaufort, South Carolina, right at the Port Royal Naval Base, and we're seeing a lot of activity today of aircraft. And there's the bridge that takes us up the Intracoastal Waterway. We see our waxing moon tonight. Tomorrow should be an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day. We've got our grill fired up. We've got some New York steak cooking up. Dinghy's happy. It's safe and sound. We just have to go pick up an air pump. And the next place we stop that has a West Marine will take care of that. We meant to do it today, but we forgot. We couldn't get an Uber. Hard to get down here. They all have to come down from Charleston. And the taxis are a minimum $20, even if you go 20 feet, doesn't matter. So we thought we'd save the money and wait until a little bit later. As we make our way north, our journey takes us through the Wadmala River, where we found the American Wind Symphony Floating Concert Hall, anchored to a barge. The vessel's name is the Point Counterpoint 2, which was designed by Philadelphia architect Louis Kahn back in the 60s. From London to Leningrad, the Point Counterpoint 2 brought joy to thousands of people worldwide. You just never know what you can find on the ICW. We are just approaching the Elliott Cut inlet and another sailboat that was anchored behind us uh, just very nicely cut in front of us it's amazing the amount of seamanship that goes on anyway this cut is uh, in our favor this morning we have uh, 1.8 knots uh, running and we're running 6.1 so let's see and just take a quick look and we'll see the difference here we're jumping up to 6.5 and hopefully 6.6, 6.7. And we have rocks on both sides, which makes it like a really cool Nintendo game. Once we get through this cut, then we'll be in the open and we'll be at the half hour at 9.30 to catch the bridge. We might even catch that on this pass, we'll see. See, our videographer is waiting for the, all the action here. So far, it's not as bad as it was the first time. That's because we're going with the current, not against it. Our Good Friday Eve found us at McClellanville, South Carolina, the town with a thousand-year-old oak tree, southern hospitality, and today, a beautiful sunset. 
On making a hard full rudder turn as we approached the marina, we heard a clanging noise that we hadn't heard before coming from the rudder area. Our davits had broken loose in the Gulf Stream in the middle of the night and luckily hadn't fouled the prop, most likely because it never had a chance to sink in the water, at least not until we stopped moving some 15 hours later when we finally anchored in Buford, South Carolina. The line fouled around the prop, snapped, freeing up the prop, and we thought we got lucky. Thanks to fishing trawler captain Jim Scott and his son Frank, we were on our way home in no time. Very much appreciated. Well, it was a successful night at McClellanville Leyland Oil Supply. Thank you very much. We really enjoyed the uh, hospitality and the visit. And my thanks to Jim and Frank Scott and the rest of the team for bailing us out of a real problem with our shaft where we had a line wrapped around the shaft and it was uh, really creating problems for us yesterday. So, happy uh, Good Friday, everybody. We are on our way. The next stop will be past Georgetown in the next four hours, and we'll see where our day takes us from there. Thank you for watching this episode of Sailing Cayenne 2. Stay tuned for our next episode as we visit Bellhaven, North Carolina, make some new friends, and see the sights. If you like our episodes, please subscribe and like us.